My name is Ivan Brown. I'm a student of industrial design at the University of Johannesburg. Um, I'm currently doing my master's. The, the focus of my master's dissertation is an appropriate beekeeping technology system for emergent beekeepers, of which the concrete beehive is the, the focal technology. Uh, globally, there's what's referred to as the bee crisis, which is the, the global decline of pollinators, specifically the honeybee, through um, modern agricultural practices, the use of pesticides, the transport and trade of honey across borders and around the world, uh, spreading diseases and pests. And in South Africa specifically, the beekeepers are having a really hard time where the majority of beekeepers experience up to 30% losses of their equipment and colonies of bees every year from theft and vandalism specifically, but there are other problems such as honey badgers, fires, floods. I first considered concrete as a material for manufacturing the beehives, um, which came out of the, the initial research, which was interviews, extensive participatory interviews with the beekeepers and the farmers, looking into bees and how they naturally grow a hive in a, in a tree or on a rock face and they really prefer materials that are closer to their natural environments. And concrete showed the, the potential to be both easy to manufacture in terms of not needing expensive machinery or electricity, as well as being semi-natural, close to a kind of stone environment, but also the benefits that the concrete has in terms of strength and durability. One of the things that beekeepers will immediately point out is that Beehives are really quite heavy, especially when they're full of honey. Um, so one of the things I had to look at was how to reduce the weight of the concrete. I was able to add perlite to the, as an aggregate to the mixture of the concrete to substantially lower the weight of the components. The perlite also has the additional benefit of increasing the thermal and audio insulation of the beehive. To increase the strength of the concrete aggregate, I also added uh, fiber reinforcement. And a lot of these things came out of Working with PPC, they, had a, they hosted a workshop here at the university last year and that really helped a lot in the formative phases. I think the Imaginarium competition is really amazing for the design community, for uh, burgeoning designers and students and existing designers in industry. For me personally, the prize money from the competition really helped in terms of supporting my further studies and paying for my school fees. But then. As I got into the, the project as my master's in the beginning of this year, I realized that I'd need further funding and support um, for the materials that I'd need to produce the beehives for field testing. So I approached the PPC again in the beginning of the year to ask if they'd be interested in supporting the project um, and providing the, the materials and the, the cement for producing a small batch of the beehives for field testing um, with beekeepers as well as the farmers, and they were happy to help, which really kick-started the project and got it going in the beginning um, and I was able to produce a batch of about 20 of the beehives. They've certainly taken to it. To date I've never seen the, the, the um, bees actually bearding which is a, a term where it gets so hot in the evening that all the worker bees move outside the hive to cool themselves down and allow them the, the hive inside to cool. So far Ivan's um, swarm box, they haven't had to do that. That makes a big difference because it means that the, a lot more of the bees can go out and forage rather than keep the hive cool. That's innovative because it allows the bees to work less hard. People always think that cement is just uh, used to create concrete, to make concrete for mass industry, for buildings, for bridges, for dams. And really what it showcases here is that the magic of cement can be utilized to make a real difference to communities, can make a real difference to creating a more sustainable environment. And um, maybe in um, not so far or future, we're gonna see concrete beehives dotted not only around South Africa, but in the rest of the world.